Are you looking to buy real estate in Sharon, Massachusetts? Sharon has so much to offer. Great schools, commutable to both Boston and Providence, Rhode Island, and beautiful green spaces like Lake Massapoke, open green spaces, lots of places to hike. All of this makes Sharon a great place to live. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some homes that have recently sold between 1.2 million and 1.5 million, and you'll get a good feel for what your dollar will get you in Sharon. I'll share some of my comments with my realtor hat on and I hope you enjoy. I'm Jane. I'm a realtor based in Wellesley, Massachusetts, and my channel is all about helping families relocate to the greater Boston area. So please subscribe as each week I put out a new video featuring a different suburb or a different price point or share some fun facts about moving to Massachusetts. And if you are thinking about moving, please reach out. I've had lots of amazing buyers find me right here on this YouTube channel. And in fact, just last summer, I had a family that found me on YouTube purchase a beautiful home in the center of Sharon. So hello to the Mercers. The first house we're going to look at is 26 Aspen Road, which was on the market for a million 75 and sold for just a shade over 1.2, 1205. So for one two ish, you can get a four bedroom, two full, two half bath home. This one has almost an acre of land. The house was built in 1987 and it's about 3000 square feet plus the basement. One of the things that's cool about this house is that it has solar panels on the roof. So one thing that it's funny, we're actually looking into putting solar panels on our own roof. There's always something quirky about it. Sometimes it's always better if the house is being sold with the solar panels being owned. So then the owner passes on the ownership to the buyer. It can be a little tricky if the panels are leased. So these are owned. So that definitely almost is a, it's such a benefit when you're presenting to the buyer because you can tell the buyer how much money they're going to save on their electric bill and the maintenance is pretty minimal. So as you can see, the entire roof has solar panels on it. So this house was built in the late eighties. So some of the construction things I, I can already tell from just looking at the outside that it was built in this era is like the style of windows. You know, you don't see those soaring ceilings that you see in the homes that started in the, in the nineties. So we don't see that giant high ceilings. These are probably more like, you know, under around eight feet tall, but still a very nice, elegant home with a beautiful, updated kitchen with natural countertops, stainless appliances, granite countertops, and open to the family room, which is, of course, was as popular then as it is now. But the 80s was when you first started to see that real open concept. So this great room has this nice stone detail around the fireplace. But again, this was more of a contemporary era. So you're not seeing wainscoting, lots of moldings, crown molding, big chunky beadboard on the ceiling. This was a kind of a more contemporary time. So so I'm going to take you also to just to see a snapshot of kind of funky furniture, very mid-century modern, as we like to say now with the round coffee table. This is kind of cool with the contrasting color on the ceiling and then the Sputnik style light fixture. I, I think that's what we call it. But again, see how you see just kind of these clean lines. So very typical of this era, kind of just a turn stair takes you up, kind of a step down living space, nice house, four bedrooms, two full baths, nice updated spacious primary bath with a separate tub and shower. One of the things you'll find in the 80s is a lot of times they did not put hardwood floor in. So that is an easy update, especially this carpet looks like it's been there a while. And this room is so cute with these little armchairs, the little the decor with the twin beds is so cute. But if someone wanted to put in hardwood, that is a very easy update that a lot of times I help buyers with a phone call or two just to get that done. And kids bath has two sinks. So good solid house. Nice Nice lower level. So again, this sold for 1205 and it just closed in middle of May of 2024. The next house we're going to take a look at is 11 Iron Hollow Road. This was on, now this is typical of what we saw in the spring of 2024. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It was listed for 1195, so just under 12, and it sold for 1325. Sometimes when I start working with buyers, it's hard to convey just how crazy the market it is and it varies by house. It's, it's always challenging to just keep on top of trends and what's happening in the market. I can tell you this one was on the market for just three days. They had an open house on a Wednesday and then they had an offer deadline on the following Monday. They definitely had multiple offers in hand. This was also a highly desirable neighborhood called Sharon Woods, which is a development, very convenient location for commuting. And then also, you know, a nice half acre lot 
lot. So a good solid, you know, community, neighborhood, plenty of land, but not huge because not everybody wants two acres of land. And so this one was built in the 90s. And as you come in the front door, you have a center open, kind of an open concept with a staircase in the middle. They have a music living room to the right, dining to the left, and the kitchen in the back. I do think this is very tastefully decorated. I like the dark woods and the kind of cool detail on the ceiling. I love this window over the door that brings in so much natural light. And these windows are actually significantly large, so they are also letting in a lot of light. And the kitchen has custom cabinetry. One of the ways you can always tell our custom is if they go right up to the ceiling. And this is a sub-zero fridge, stainless, double commercial grade wall ovens. So this is a beautiful house. But again, not super updated. It's not like it's new, new but the condition is outstanding. Everything's in the right place. Here's the family room overlooking the backyard. Nice big mud room. And then I just like to give you a quick peek upstairs. Very elegant bedroom. So nice to have the ceiling fans and the recessed lights. Nice big bath. Laundry in the closet. That's interesting. Family bath also has nice wood cabinetry. So that was 11 Iron Hollow Road, which closed in May. And we're going to take a look at one more. So this is 89 South Walpole street so this is a little bit of a busier road young colonial 4200 square feet this house is about 12 years old so again this was on the market for just under 1.3 and it sold for 1370 and it's over an acre and a half of land so again when buyers start to look and they tell me where they're commuting to i'm always sharing towns that have really strong public schools that's definitely a preference in the buyers that find me here on youtube and we have so many towns that deliver and one of the things that if you think about the comparison to the towns right around Boston, these homes would be like a million dollars more at least. It is a bit of a drive, and but maybe you're not commuting to Boston. Maybe you're working remote most of the time, or maybe your office is out on 495. There's lots of reasons why Sharon would be a good choice. So let's take a quick look at uh, 89 South Walpole. So as you can see, a very spacious home, lots of great parking, beautiful landscaping, nice big two-story foyer. And these are nice cherry cabinets, granite countertops, stainless appliances, hardwood floors. These are all the things that buyers almost expect at this price in Sharon. Nice office and a nice big family room. Now again, when you got into the more into the 2000s, especially after 2010, you'll see a lot more chunky moldings and hard wood like trims and things like that but this was actually this is 2012 so this might have just been a choice to be more of a contemporary kind of minimalist look not so not so colonial but a little bit more contemporary so you see cleaner lines here but still a little bit of colonial trim around the door and the cap on top of the tile beautiful large bedrooms so move right in and the lower level has room for a little room for everything you've got your exercise area you've got your hangout area a walkout which is always nice in the lower level because it brings in so much light. There's a bath on the lower level too. Basically three floors of living above grade, the way the lot slopes into the back. So there you have it. That was 89 South Walpole Street in Sharon. So if you're thinking about moving to Sharon, which is the hometown of my husband and the place that I hung out with my grandparents when they lived for 30 years, then I would love to hear from you and share more stories about how great it is to live in Sharon. I have lots of different videos out about different parts of Metro West. This is a little bit south, but still a great place to live if you're relocating to Greater Boston. So please remember to subscribe and I will see you in the next next video. Thanks for watching.